Hey YouTube, my name is Chris and this is my home theater build part 3. Today we're going to do an unboxing and review of the Panasonic AE8000. Let me start this unboxing and little review of the Panasonic AE8000 by saying that it is an awesome projector. All the reviews that I've read, the research, um, the deliberating, I have absolutely come to the conclusion that it is it is that and more. So if you're thinking about buying this projector, don't think anymore. Just go out there and buy it. You will do yourself a huge favour. My last projector was an Epson TW600. Several years ago, that was a middle-of-the-road projector. Uh, it was neither cheap nor expensive. It was about $3,000. And compared to this one, well, it's chalk and cheese. I was considering for a while about staying with Epson and purchasing either the 6010, then I thought about the 8020, and then the 9100. However, I kept coming back to this Panasonic because the specs on the Panasonic would always trump the Epson. In particular, the dynamic iris that Epson used in that projector was particularly loud and very annoying. You'd be watching a movie and during a quiet period, you would hear this dynamic iris opening and closing. It happens, um, I believe, like 30, 60 times per second to try and stop down the light to increase the contrast in the dark areas in a picture. I do believe from reviews I looked on Whirlpool and online that the Epson still actually emit a bit of noise when that dynamic iris is in action. Mind you, the Panasonic does also have the same system to help it achieve that 500,000 to 1 contrast ratio. However, that has never been noted as an issue in any review that I've read, and in my experience of using the projector for the last two days, absolutely, this thing is absolutely silent. Using it in Cinema 1 mode, you wouldn't even know it's on. I couldn't help but set up the screen uh, temporarily, just resting on ottoman, and I put the projector here on a uh, bench. As you can see, the colours look great. I haven't calibrated this yet, uh, but things are looking perfect. This is Cinema Mode 1. Uh, blacks are black, greys are grey. There's a massive uh, dynamic range through the picture. It's just gorgeous. I can't un tell you how good this looks. Um, I'm just sitting here with my uh, camera, and um, I hope to give you an, an idea of how it's looking, but wow. I went with the Panasonic uh, 3 LCD system due to the fact that I can see the rainbows with DLP projection methods. Uh, you do have the SXRD system that Sony uses or the JVC DILA method. There's even now coming out LED slash laser methods as well. Um, but they're super expensive and well, you know, million to one contrast ratio, great, but uh, that's beyond my budget. So the Panasonic's got three uh, LCD panels, um, all of them working at 1920 by 1080, so high definition. Um, the lens is a motorized lens. It's got a two times focal zoom, so you can set it up uh, with a lot of flexibility and it's from the front of the room to the back of the room. It also has optical shift, both horizontal and vertical. You can actually offset 100% uh, below or above and something like 20 something degrees to the left or the right Mind you if you do if you use a joystick and you push it down you can see there how I'm moving the lens around um, with That little joystick on the right hand side If you move the lens all the way down to the bottom like that You couldn't therefore then push it over to the far side you had to compromise so it might be 75% um, lens shift up and 15 to the left the luminosity of this projector is rated at 2400 lumens. A uh, very, very bright projector which is um, workable in a room with ambient light. Mind you, when you're actually operating in, say, this mode, Cinema 1, it's dropped it right back to, this, I believe it's five or 600 lumens. So uh, just because you have a, a very bright projector doesn't mean you actually have to use it at that level. This projector is quite capable of producing an image anywhere between 40 inches all the way up to 300 inches. Um, obviously the bigger you um, project, the less luminosity that hits the screen. 
So you're going to be pushing up into those uh, living room type modes. That's going to burn your lamp out a lot sooner. So not exactly a very highly recommended idea. The projector has three HDMI inputs, computer in, component, uh, super video, video. Also has a trigger, um, two different type of trigger uh, inputs. Uh, one can be used for a 3D shutter route to add on external 3D infrared emitter if you should need it. Uh, it's a little bit hefty, it's um, definitely bigger than what my Epson TW600 was. Um, it weighs in at uh, approximately 8 kilograms or so and comes with a backlit remote control which is always very handy if you should actually use uh, the remote control in your home theater. Although honestly, if you've got a home theater, I'm guessing like you, like me, you've got a universal remote control that it's one remote that does it all. Which reminds me, next week I'll bring you my review of the Harmony Smart Control. The Panasonic is capable of projecting 3D, which obviously I can't show you on YouTube. It uses active shutter technology and infrared to sync the glasses with the projector and screen. But I could go on and on. You get the idea. It's a great projector. Do yourself a favour and go by it now. Please comment, like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next week.